What about Michael Edwards coming back to Liverpool? He wants control, more control in the club. So, obviously, I don't know the power structure behind the scenes at Liverpool. Obviously, we know Klopp has quite a bit of it. But with Klopp moving on, you know, if Edwards did come back in, you know, he probably would want to control footballing operations at the club, which is understandable. You know, he certainly got a track record. Um, 11 years spent with Liverpool Football Club. Now, obviously, part of, um, I'm trying to think of the name, Ludonautics with uh, Dr. Ian Graham, the um, consultancy company that they've set up. David Ornstein said, the sporting director candidate the Liverpool owners would most like to hire is Michael Edwards. There have been suggestions that the job would be more appealing to Edwards if he was offered a stake in FSG. Goes on to say, but the company has only ever made that allowance for LeBron James, and it's unclear whether that kind of offer would be on the table for Michael Edwards. So the Athletic have said, Alonso, front runner to replace Klopp, but plan B needed. Uh, Ruben Amarim and Julian Nagelsmann score well on Dada. FSG wants Edwards as sporting director, but needs decision soon. Football CEO title could be created. That's from uh, David Ornstein and James Pierce via The Athletic. Um, and a few other bits and pieces come into there I want to just draw your attention to. Paul Joyce, when Paul Joyce writes, speaks, we listen. Uh, FSG have realised that the profile of sporting director that they've been looking for has changed. Previously, they were looking for somebody to facilitate Klopp's needs, but now there is a demand for somebody to take charge of the whole club. Again, that comes in from Mr. Paul Joyce. Uh, Michael Edwards wants full control over Liverpool's football operations to consider a return, said Paul Joyce. FSG are ready to put Michael Edwards in charge of the club in an attempt to lure him back. I mean, I can't lie. I want him. I do. I want him. And I think all of you guys probably do as well. You know, there's something, let's be honest, there'd be something comforting around the idea of Michael Edwards coming back to the football club to be part of the rebuild, if you want to call it that. To be part of the next evolution of Liverpool Football Club. Obviously, with Jürgen and Pep Linders and uh, the coaches moving on, we're going to need the right manager, the right sporting director, and of course, in this case, the potential CEO of football. Now, I read one very interesting part about Michael Edwards situation they said that Michael Edwards may look to bring in Julian Ward again to work under him as the sporting director if he becomes let's say the football CEO so in an ideal world for FSG based off some of these reports that I'll, I'll read out to you in a moment they look like they want to have Edwards back in then Ward underneath and then obviously a new manager I like the idea of that Fabrizio Romano said, important to clarify Edwards showing no signals yet of intending to return or saying yes, not just to Liverpool, but to any project. He's very happy with what he's doing at the moment. Nothing concrete. I like his negotiating stance here. Well done. From, again, Fabrizio Romano, Liverpool owners want to give one last try to bring Michael Edwards back to the club. FSG want Edwards to take over football and put a new structure in place. And again, he goes on about Edwards showing no signs of confirming uh, all these leaks today are definitely from Edward's side. Surely there's something that can be done to convince him. It does feel a little bit like if you're at the point of saying, I'd want full control over the footballing operations to even consider it, you know, I agree. That's kind of an indication. If those leaks have come, that is kind of an indication of, yeah, I'm open to it. But I want control. 